In this video, we will demonstrate how to install the Schlage L9050 mortise lock with rose trim. The Schlage L9050 is an office function mortise lock. We will install the lock on a hollow metal door that has been prepped using the included Schlage template. These are the tools you will need. In the box, you will find the lock case, levers, assorted parts, and instruction sheets. If this is a new construction project, check the hardware schedule to confirm you have the correct lock for the opening. On the instruction sheet, Locate the steps that refer to the L9050. For proper latch function, ensure there is a 1 8 inch gap between the door and frame. Check the location of the handing screw by standing on the inside of the door and holding the lock case against the door as if it were installed. Verify that the handing screw is on the inside of the door. If it is not, the handing screw must be removed and placed on the opposite side of the lock case. Verify that the bevel of the latch is appropriate for the swing of the door. If the bevel is not appropriate, pull the latch out and turn it 180 degrees. Slide the lock case into the mortise pocket and begin fastening with the two screws. Install the top screw first, but do not fully tighten the mounting screws yet. From this point, do not allow the door to close until installation is complete. If the door latches, you may not have the means to open it. Insert the spindles and springs on the inside and outside of the door, as shown. Orient the spring cage so that the arrows match the direction of lever down rotation. Then install the spring cage over the screw posts of the outside lever. Install the mounting posts on the screws of the outside lever. Tighten with pliers. Install the lever assembly into the door. You may need to lift the lock case to align the holes. Install the spring over the cylinder, and then install the compression ring. Then, insert the key halfway, and gently screw the cylinder into the lock case. The cylinder should be snug, with the Schlage logo upright and horizontal. Final securing will happen later. On the inside of the door, slide the spring cage over the spindle, ensuring the arrows on the spring cage match the direction of lever down rotation. Then attach the mounting plate and secure with the two screws. Slide the rows over the mounting plate, then attach the inside lever. Use the spanner wrench to fully tighten the collar. To install the thumb turn, first ensure that the outside lever is unlocked. If it's locked, insert the thumb turn to unlock it, then remove. Now, install the thumb turn vertically and secure with the two screws. Ensure that the Schlage logo on the cylinder is still upright, then tighten the cylinder mounting screw. The Schlage logo on the cylinder must be upright for the mounting screw to engage properly. Secure the mortise case by tightening the mounting screws. Then, install the armor plate and secure with the two small screws. If 
If the armor plate does not fit flush with the edge of the lock, reposition the anti-friction tongue in the center of the latch and try again. To complete the installation, install the strike. To test the installation, use the key to unlock the door and turn both the inside and outside levers, ensuring full latch retraction. Verify the thumb turn locks and unlocks the outside lever. Close the door and ensure the latch engages with the strike. For more information, see your instruction sheet or contact customer care at 877-671-7011.